So, two things um, I would like to share with you guys, both owners, this machine. Uh, it's a scraper. I call it machine, but it's not a machine, it's a tool, obviously. And we use this for scraping all our anti-fouling off the boat, the old anti-fouling. And I didn't know about this, I was sanding the hull with the sander, with these discs. 40 grit, quite, quite strong. And then somebody said, why don't you use a scraper, it's much easier. So I said, oh, I'll give it a go. And my God, my life changed ever since. I'm sleeping with this, I made a small case for it, and it stays with me under the pillow sometimes. My best friend, when it comes to anti-fouling. So, this removes all the anti-fouling, like, I'll show you, it's like a blade. This is, it will just cut, look, it will just cut anything off. So, you need one of these if you want to do removing anti-fouling. This is a baby sanding machine. We use this only for little jobs, like sanding this bit down. And if you want to use a rotary sander or something like this to remove all the anti-fouling, good luck you'll spend half of your life doing that you need either an electric one of this or this manual one we've had a repair on the bottom of our rudder uh, all this section was cut off um, and inside was foam and all the foam was full of seawater and we had water in the rudder um, we had this cut off new foam filled in fiberglass uh, and then epoxy over so we're smoothening this down today because um, we want to touch down all the places on the hull. We're getting ready to prime the boat and then anti foulis All these white spots that you see, the beginning of uh, osmosis, uh, there's moisture between the fiberglass and the gel coat. But we took some humidity uh, readings and it's nothing to worry about uh, for now. Anyway, it could go on for another 30, 40 years. So we're, we're okay with that. And we removed all the anti-fouling from the entire hull. How long did it take you? I would say about two weeks, three. Two, two, two to three weeks. Two reasons why we completely stripped the old anti-fouling. It was showing signs of wear and failure, but also we were switching from hard paint to soft paint, known to be more effective in the tropics, where sea life is very aggressive. Priming, we need to put three coats of primer and two coats of anti-fouling on. So that's, that's on the schedule. What sort of anti-fouling will you be using? Yotun. Why is that? I don't know, it's, it's meant to be one of the good ones and all the fishermen and all the South Pacific uh, boats use it. It's meant to be the best one for, for the tropics. For the tropics. So we'll, uh, we'll give that a go. Who would think putting tape can be so, so technical otherwise? The people doing the quality check will be... Who's that? Uh, we know. <laughs> No, we all know who the quality check person is here. Eight bucks an hour is what I'm worth. Putting shingles on houses that I can't afford. That's 64 for an eight-hour day. Family of four can't live that way So now I'm working nights parking cars at the club On a good night I make 15 bucks So we have to make I four to one, right? Home and I add it all up Somehow an 80 hour week just stained enough Something about this math just don't add up Something about this math just don't add up I'm working for a living I'm working for a living I'm working for a living and it's turning me cold How are you feeling Coco after putting the first coat on? High from all the, the vapors of the paint, dehydrated. Um, my hands are shaking, but I can't stop. Hungry, and I just have to carry.
two more to go. Only for the primer. Yeah. All together, four more to go. Says, babe, we really need a VP. But she don't know our situation. I'm falling, falling, falling behind. Sir, don't make me look like a loser in my baby's eye. I never used to be so cold and What can you say about this anti-fouling? I would be, I would be very, very happy to see the last of that tin air gone. It dries straight away, right? So fast, so fast. I'm working for a living. I'm working for a living. Hello, Thorin. Hello. So? Well, I don't know what to do to laugh or to cry. <laughs> <laughs> laugh because we, we run out of anti-fouling, which means it's all on the boat. Some on me as well. <laughs> my face, my hair. Uh, today has been particularly stressful in a way because it's the last coat and it needs to be applied eight hours before any contact with water. And as you can see, the sky is very, very cloudy and gray. And not more than 48 hours before launching that's what they say these guys from Jotun on the on the team so I woke up at 5 30 this morning I checked about 20 uh, different websites for the weather no rain until one o'clock I did my prayers a few prayers and no rain we finished coating so now it's uh, just the last bits removing the tape around putting this beast on uh, and yeah, just finishing up the last bits, getting clearing everything away, and Friday we're gonna be bobbing in there. Which in is there. like after tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoy this channel, please subscribe, comment, give us the thumbs up and share.